I didn't get to hear from um, Jeff yet. I'm sure you guys. Debbie! Yeah. yeah. Debbie! Yeah. We love Jeff. Woo! We love Cyrus. Did anybody else notice? Didn't it seem like you did not seem all that upset that Abby took you down? Um, mm. yeah, you never know what Cyrus, you know, you never know what levels of that. What's that chess game where you're supposed to play on like seven levels or something? Stratego? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there, there are, I, don't, I don't know. It's got little balls. And yeah. it's got oh, no, that's not Stratego. I don't know what anyway, that is. <laughs> anyway, I have to. Battleship? Oh. Hungry, hungry yeah, hippo. Hungry, hungry hippo. hippo. Hungry, hungry hippo. Yeah, Wait, hungry no, hippo. Twister. Hungry hippo. Twister. Twister. <laughs> uh, 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 Opera. If there's a way in which I think Cyrus is getting a bit of what he wants, he mm. needs to move on. Mm. Um, uh, uh, the, you know, the, you know, we've heard in the last few episodes of, you know, I'm on the outside. I'm calling Liv and going, is she ready? Can Red handle it? You know, da 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 da. Um, there's a way in which uh, uh, the mercenary Cyrus is looking for what's my next roost. You know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I think we'll, we'll find out that it's not all as it seems yeah. once again with you. But he's playing it very up and up, you know? <laughs> uh, inventing dead brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to convince deeply good people whose children are struggling with cancer. Yeah, it's nice. Right? Shonda, where does it come from? I don't know. <laughs> Shonda, you know, like, what are you and Betsy up to that, that you come up with storylines like that? The very twisted, twisted dark writer's room. <laughs> very dark writer's room. They're very weird, sick people. Sick. <laughs> sick, sick, we sick. love them. Thank we God. we enjoy it, yeah. It is fun. So the, writing, the writer's room is, uh, is like sort of secret, but the, the table reads are legendary. Mm -hmm. What is that? It, Shonda's told me, and I've read before, that it's just so much fun. Cast gets involved. You've got writers reading parts. How is it for you all? De deciding, or, or not deciding, but learning your fate for the week in that, right, in that. Well, room. first of all, Betsy Beers yes. reads all oh. of the stage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she is, she the is the amazing. Best. She actually runs the entire, she sets yes. the tone, she sets the yes. pace, she sets it all, and she's just amazing. She sings. Yeah, she does. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's just the best. We, we write yeah. things in the script because we know that Betsy will have to sing them. Huh. And it <laughs> you like putting lots of dirty stuff in. We put yeah. really dirty stuff in because we know really Betsy will have to say it. Really long sex sequences. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. I have to read all yeah. the stage yeah, yeah, yeah. directions. <laughs> <laughs> Which is one of my favorite parts. Huh. <laughs> really, really, please, really please long sex sequences. tape one of those uh -huh. for us? It would, it would be fun. Maybe one day. Maybe. But then it feels um, like you guys feel on Thursday night because we, we read it cold and we don't know what's going to happen and we are just like watching it come out of everybody's face. So we get the, we get the audience experience. We get to go on the ride. It is a delight every and, time. And there would be points actually at the end of a couple of these episodes where you all got up simultaneously and started running around the table, <laughs> which is an amazing thing. Really? That happens? End of season two, I think. Oh, yeah. I think it was there yeah. was dad, yeah. dad, like yeah. dad, yeah. dad with like dad. Dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were throwing things. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. They all just got up and sort of seized up all at once. <laughs> yeah, and just started running around the table. It was kind of amazing. Because you know you've gotten off your couch, like something's happened Thursday night, and you've been like, you know, and you're like, I, I just like, it's crazy. It feels like that at a table read too. Yeah. Are you guys still watching episodes together? Mm, we, we haven't. Been, the the, the schedule has been are. really hard lately. We've, and we, we've, we've been talking about it and we've been missing it. Yeah. We did. But it's been really hard. We did one. Yeah, we did one at Jeffy's house. Jeffy's house this year. But normally yeah. it's like the, the episodes now, they work on them so much to, you know, toward the end that they're not ready. Right. Because they're under so much time pressure, you know. We have a short post schedule. Right? Yeah. yeah. But I have a question I'd love to hear from all of you, if you, if you can, if you want to start with Cornelius and then go to Katie from yeah. there. If, um, if Shonda and Betsy decided that you had to switch roles for one episode, who would you want to play? Go. Go. Uh -uh. I'd be the president. How about that? Oh! oh. 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 I would definitely want to be Cyrus Bean. 150 oh. percent. Oh. All sides of it. Uh, Sally Langston. Yeah. <laughs> love is a liberty. Love Sal is a... Langston. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I um, love it. David Rosen, because I have no love interest in this show. <laughs> Big fat. Yeah. Uh, Cyrus Bean. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Mm. What about you? Oh. Yeah, you have to pick yeah, someone other than all the. Oh yeah, Betsy. Who do you want to play? Yeah. 
Hollis Doyle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's gotta be Hollis. Mm -hmm. I can't pick anybody because I'm already everybody. Although I'm very disturbed that Lynn Paolo dresses Olivia Pope in all of my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm discovering this now that she wears color, she'll have something on, and I'll be like, I own that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you and Michelle Obama. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's, that's right. a nice compliment. I'll yeah. Take that. Uh, I my favorite character on the show right now is Susan Ross. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Right. Woo. Um, but I feel like I might want to be George. Oh, oh, Charlie! Charlie! Charlie. 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 Yeah. Charlie's really? Charlie's yeah. fun. You get to eat a lot of lollipops. A lot of candy. Yeah. yeah. A lot of donuts. Kiss on you. A lot of hot stuff with Katie Lowe's. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good, it's good, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> fun. We don't kiss and tell. <laughs> That's right. Bellamy? I, I, because I, 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 I can't pick anybody. I get too nervous. I'm going to go with Maya. I mean, that would be... Oh, uh, yeah. Maya. Maya. Maya Pope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's dark, Bellamy. Dark. Well, you know. I'm going to go with Melly Grant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I get to watch it all the time. <laughs> what, what, did, um, what did Abby say to in, to, in tomorrow's? Episode tonight's tomorrow's Thursday's episode. Um, well, do you do you but do you believe him, Abby? Well, you know if he's breathing, he's lying. Um, <laughs> uh, so I, I'd go with Susan because it'd be re just refreshing yeah. to not be lying all the time. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I'd like to be Papa Pope for a day. Oh, oh yeah. 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 You're headed in that direction. <laughs> 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 Porsche. Uh, I would like to be Huck. Is that? Oh, yeah. 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 This past episode, I loved watching you transform from Harold, the nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, that was demanding. So into great. Huck. It was yeah. such a yeah. Yeah. Cool. That was cool. like monstrous. Like it was so great. Um, but of course, back when he was torturing and killing people, that's what I would like to play. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. And Josh? Because I think I'd be good in the role. Um, <laughs> <laughs> season one, uh, the guy at the White House gate, I want to say Morris. Morris. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like a shot at that. Morris. Um, the security guard. Uh, the PR the gal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next yeah. To the the yeah. yeah. You just have because Josh, you could work once a month. <laughs> That's also, yeah. I wasn't going to say that in front of Shonda. <laughs> that might be part of it. Um, uh, you all know Josh is notorious for his pranks. Oh, and no. I don't know, I could be wrong. You can tell me to move on. But the, the gals were telling me a recent one was particularly disturbing. No, I think my colleagues, will, I think my colleagues will attest that there have been no recent ones. Oh. I've been off for at least a year. I don't have my chip with me, but I have my 12 month chip. <laughs> and that's for a couple reasons. One, I pulled a big Jimmy Kimmel prank last year. Oh. There's breaking news. <laughs> I, <hate laughs> I don't No, I'm just kidding. No, give me that. See, it happened so easy. Wait till you hear this. So fast. Um, so fast. No. Oh, so I did a big Jimmy Kimmel thing, and I think I lost uh, much of the trust and some of the affection uh, of my colleagues. You think? And then after that, I was, I can't go into the details for legal reasons. <laughs> I, was lightly, I was lightly reprimanded. Oh, yeah, by, this is what I heard about. By Tom Verica and Betsy Beers. And while Tom Verica is a puppy dog, Betsy is terrifying. <laughs> So I've been very well behaved since. Wow. I never got an apology. Wow. Haven't I? Yeah. yeah. You have. You really have. Do you want to tell us what really the prank have. was? Oh, how I want to, but I think it's best. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's best oh, that I don't. Uh, do, the, do the index card. Oh. <laughs> I never got my personal apology. Katie, Katie's waiting on an And I'm apology. waiting. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we got at least another season. <laughs> oh. 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 oh
So oh my God. we at uh, GMA had a little time on our hands, so we came up with a game called Scandal in the Wind. Woo! And, um, and okay. uh, yeah, thank you, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that was my title. Um, so wondered though, because you guys are very loose and like to sing, and loose I mean for different reasons. Whoa. Hey. But um, hey. your favorite go-to karaoke song or like yeah. song in the shower and you get extra credit if you sing a line. Woo. Cornelius, oh, yeah. hit it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, no. I go. Oh, okay. God. Close your eyes, make a wish, and blow out the candlelight. You realize what you started, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> voice command all the way. I'll make love to you. That's my karaoke jam. Katie, yeah. wow. I knew I could count on you. Anytime, anytime. Guillermo, do you have a favorite song that would surprise us? <laughs> Something in your eyes is making such a fool of me. Come on. Oh, 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 me. Yeah, I'm uh, that. <laughs> Madonna, right? Uh, no. It has to be Madonna. Borderline. Borderline. Oh, there you go. Anybody else? I know there's some singers in the room. Anybody else have a favorite go-to? How does no. a bath or son <laughs> of a whore <laughs> and a scot? Yes! Rock. yes! Caribbean, by prominence, impoverished and squalor. Grow up to be a hero and a scholar. The $10. I can do the whole show. Can you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the Hamilton. I think we should do an episode where we do all of this. Yeah. So this is a question from the Paley app for you guys. Actually, this goes to Shonda. Shonda, who inspires you to write? Mm. Oh. Mm. Um, it can be these days, it can be over sort of a broad picture. All of us, right? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I, I don't know how to answer that question. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of everything. Yeah. You know, it's the people you work with, it's the ideas you hear, it's the genius in the wall. It's some song on the radio, it's some, yeah, it's some, Phrase someone says in the elevator, it's everything. Mm -hmm. How influenced will your writing be by this election? Are you watching every word, every moment? I will be honest and say I am more influenced right now by Hamilton than I am by the uh, election. Woo! I love it. Did you I'm guys clock that Jake Bauer's middle name is Hamilton? Mm -hmm. It is. His middle name is Hamilton. I'm a little bit obsessed just because of. It's interesting and exciting, but the election right now is, it's its own thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to say it. Yeah, I don't really know how to, you can't make that stuff up, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it would be too unbelievable if you wrote it. Yeah. Wrote it. <laughs>